guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have created this cut crease look so if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up and yes you can see the glue on my eyes because it was still drying so i'm starting with the priming my eyes for that i'm using the soft ochre paint pot from mac and immediately i'm setting that eyeshadow with some loose powder taking that brown color shade from the juvia's palette this is the juvia's masquerade palette i'm blending it into my crease with the blending brush The chocolate brown shade I'm just putting above the previous shade uh, to have a nice transition from chocolate brown to brown and I'm blending with the same blending brush. All the eyeshadows I'm using here is, um, is completely matte and then I'm going to take the reddish brown shade from the same palette and I'm going to place it in the crease especially this is going to define my crease i'm using a very small crease brush here taking the clean blending brush i'm blending the harsh edges if i have this will make the eyeshadow look more clean and blended taking the matte purple eyeshadow from the same palette i'm concentrating this one on crease again i wanted some pop of colors that's why i'm adding a purple to my look look requires a lot of blending so keep on blending till you're satisfied with the effect and now we're gonna cut the crease for that I'm going to take the Maybelline fit me you can use any concealer you have I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me concealer with the doe foot applicator directly and then I'm going to take the brush to evenly distribute on my eyelid and very slowly I'm gonna cut my crease with this one Now taking that white champagne shade, I'm placing it one third of my eyes towards the inner corner with the flat brush of course. Now taking that icy blue or the frosted blue, I don't know what is the correct name of this eyeshadow. If you know, please let me in the comment section. But it looks beautiful. I'm placing it in the middle part of my eyes with the flat brush. This eyeshadow is from Pack Cosmetics in the number 22 it's from the Pack Pigmented range. And I think this eyeshadow is the most best applied with the uh, finger so I'm swatching or I'm just applying this with my finger to my lid that way I think you get the maximum intensity of the eyeshadow taking the dark blue eyeshadow from the Juvis palette sorry could not take the shot and I'm placing it in my outer corner of my eye and I'm using the very pen very pencil brush a pencil brush to apply this on my eyelid Mixing the champagne eyeshadow to the frosted blue to the dark blue so that it will have a nice transition from one eyeshadow to other eyeshadow. So creating an eyeliner using the black track from MAC. This is the gel liner. It goes very creamy and smoothly and set to very smudge proof uh, kajal kind of finish I would say. And the false lashes are from the pack in the number M72 that brown eyeshadow I'm placing on my lower lash line and smudging with this small pencil brush and that will be followed by the reddish brown and I'm placing again on that that the previous shade and again that will be followed by the pop of pink color it has a very little bit shimmer to it to my lower lash and I'm, I'm gonna use the very flat definer brush and I'm gonna smudge it to the lower lash line applying a nude pencil this one is from the wet one wild to my waterline and with that we finish this makeup look make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know how did you find this look and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video then take care bye bye